Well, what's up folks, welcome back to the channel, it's Foz here. I hope you're all having an absolutely fantastic day today. We didn't have any other uploads during the week, but today we're back, it's Thursday, which means we have a squad building video. Today's video is actually suggested by a viewer, which if you guys want to suggest like themes uh, and prices, budgets for me, please let me know down in the comments below. So in last week's video for the 100k squad, uh, Beatsy Beeson put a message saying, please do a 500k Prem team, including player of the month Heia and the SPC Divock Origi. So my thinking of that was that that meant a 500k budget with already having De Gea and Origi because obviously De Gea and Origi come the SPCs. I don't think is, I'm not sure if De Gea is available anymore. Origi is also expired. Um, they come to about 170, 180k, 80k in total. So I imagine that means a 500k team around them, and that's what we're going to do. I'm going to find my Prem 100, 500, Prem 500. So I have De Gea. Here we go. He's in the team. And I have Divock. Now, we're going to use 500k to build a team around this. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up on it. It's greatly appreciated. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to hit 1,000 subscribers and get part of the YouTube uh, pro partner program. That's the word. That would be great if you could help me along. So, as I was saying, um, Origi and De Gea were SPCs. I believe both have expired. Oh, forgive me. De Gea has not expired yet. He expires tomorrow so he expires on friday so he's still there origi has expired though origi sorry and then so what we're going to do with the rest of this team and before i even jump into it what i want to say is th this squad builder is a is a good team it's a good team it's meta but it also highlights why i don't like building premier league squads and we'll kind of be able to touch on it more as we go on but you'll see there's some absolute gem players in there and then there's some players that are just like the value for money isn't really there but if you want to look at like say la liga or syria then you have a lot of options so it, it's it's an interesting one but we'll go straight into it so obviously we've got the, the keeper this is the hair it's player of the month six four he sees feet. he has cross over crosses one of the best keepers in the game i have used him none at all i completed him because he was so cheap uh, he sort of chills there. I want to do the full backs first of all. I'm going to change it up. Normally we do the centre backs, but we're going to go with the right back first. Uh, and I think I have to use a position changer. We're going to go with a winter wild card, and it's as Uh I'm kicking. This is probably the card I debated most over putting this in. He is a little bit more pricey. Um, he's sixty thousand coins in the market, but he gets a big PS boost. Um, he is medium medium, which is the only sort of potential downside But he's a sort of card that is really good at also being a center back So if you want to shift to three at the back or five at the back system You have the potential to do this with the as quota I'm building this with the idea of it being a 4-4-2 or possibly a 4-2-3-1 I say he's 60k on the market. He's medium medium right footed. He's two star three star which you like it to be a little bit more for a fullback, but it's not the end of the world. He's got good pace. The the split's quite nice with the high acceleration. He's a solid player. Um, the dribbling's nice for a fullback. E agility and E2 balance would be a little bit heavier, but he has 510. Um, the aggression, the stamina, and the jumping's fantastic. He can pass the ball, and the pace is decent. The other alternative here is that you could use Cancelo and see of some coins. Cancelo's four star, four star, but I think with the the physical boost and the defending boost as an actual fullback that you'll probably use maybe on stay back you're not going to get forward with too much it adds a lot of nice defensive stability uh, and then on the left back side of things where my issue with the Premier league is is there's not many good budget left backs like there's some um but it makes you exceed the 500k like you need to maybe go to a 750k budget to get them in um the one we're going for this time i think he might be impacted them i'm not sure is the walker peters left back in form now he is right footed which is something to be aware of but he has a four star weak foot so it's very similar to spinozola you he, i played spin left back with spinozola all year pretty much he's fantastic this peters card i think is really good um the pace at this point in the game isn't what you want but if you look at the rest of the left back options you have in the premier league there's not a crazy amount of good options um so he's three star four star he's high medium which is nice um his balance or sorry his agility isn't great but outside of that his dribble is good i mean the agility is not bad for this card let's keep it real um his vision isn't great but he's got okay short passing long passing lets him down he's got nice stamina 89 uh and his defending stats are okay on the market he's 17k you really just want to throw um, a shadow on him uh, and let him rock it out like if i just pull up the rest of the left backs real quick for the premier league like okay so there's walker peters at 17k the next usable card really is the cornet card the 84 rated cornet who's 52k 
Um, then there's Tierney, 85k, Regulon at 70k. There's an Inform Cassell at 63k. So really, you're not getting anything for under 50k. There's a Robertson if you want to use him for 26,000 coins, but I think this um, Walker Peters is better. That's just me being honest. So it's what you can see. You might be like, oh, this left back isn't the best in the game, that kind of thing. We're going with Premier League team. We need a Premier League left back. That's where it's at. However, I love the centre back options and I love the prices off them. And I think they're just incredibly, incredibly overlooked. The first one will go on the right hand side. First one is coming in at 27,000 coins. I think, yeah, combined these two centre backs are about 60k. It's fantastic. Like you get, this is where there is value for money. And it's Romero, if I can find him. Christian Romero. Loved him last year's FIFA. He was great at Atlanta. And he's, he's good this year too. He's got dives into tackles, which is huge. He has insane physicals. 94 aggression with 87 strength, 88 stamina, 91 dribbling. Some of the issues with centre backs is not having the, the good enough stamina. He's got it. He's got crack aggression. His defending is good. His, his defending is great, actually. It's not fantastic, but it's great. His pace is good. He's got a really nice acceleration. And we're going to put a shadow on this card to fix it. His agility and balance being 78 and 74 is great. He's low high, so he's a true defensive beast. Only does have a two-star weak foot, but he's right footed. He's going to put it on the right-hand side. He's just a defensive unit. Trust me. The pass is not fantastic. You can compare him to Varane, who has better passing. But I think this card for 27k is an absolute bargain. So, so good. And we've got another bargain with centre back going beside him. We're going for a strong link to Walker Peters here. And it's going to be the Salisu card. Is that how you say Salisu? Here we go. He has a future stars card. I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, yeah, future stars. Again, he's got 80 PS. So these guys are 81 and 82 PS. They're not like absolutely rapid, but when you put a shadow on them, they're going to feel good because of the agility and balance. Outside of his vision, his passing is okay. So as long as you can like manually direct the pass giving the current gameplay which is a bit ass but if you can do that you're good the dribbling outside of that is fantastic for center back again 98 strength 88 aggression great and the defense stats are good you put a shadow on him and you have a fun day with it now he's 35k so i think this back line for if you're looking at a 500k squad this back line is good like you've got two i'd say i'm going to say great center backs here the, the fantastic prices they're two great center backs you've got a right back you can also play center back for you um medium medium and then you've got an attacking um full back who yes his pace isn't fantastic but with the shadow he's going to do the job uh let's mix up a little bit let's go for our partnership up front i know i'm really going backwards in this build but i just want to keep it a little bit different we're going to spend 95k here on our striker and this is where, again, I had some issues with picking someone from the Premier League. I'm going to be honest with you. I want to flick over to the Premier League right now and just go through it with you. So you've got these cards like Keane and Ronaldo. Let's keep it real. The normal Keane cards aren't good. The Ronaldo cards are expensive. They're not fitting into a 500k budget. There is a Jimmy Vardy um, route to the final card, which is about 150k. If you can increase your 500k budget to... Uh, yeah, it's increased it from 500k to about 600k. You could fit this card in, you know. He's got three star, four star. He's... He's good shooting stats, like 99 attack position, 98 finishing. Like, he's a good card. But the one we're going with, if I can find him here, I have to go through a little bit, uh, is Jal Pedro. This card only has one real issue for me, and it's his aggression. Outside of that, I really like him. He's 95k. He's high-low. Fantastic for an attacker. He's four-star, four-star. You love to see it. His acceleration is good. His shooting is good. It needs a boost. For a striker, his passing isn't fantastic, but he's got at least he's where it matters, I'd say, the vision and the short passing. His dribbling is really good. Uh, he can head the ball too. Six foot, 87 stamina, which is good. 80 strength, good. He can hold the ball. He just lacks a bit of aggression. Um, you could put a hawk on him to try and fi fix the aggression, but I think it's the case very similar to Insigne, where it's just so low, it's not going to get improved. Uh, but you could put that on him to get a PS shooting and physical boost. You know, you can try it, or you can go for um, a dead eye marksman or something like that. No real traits to speak of, but I think just like we've got 97 PS and 92 PS strikers here, they're going to be absolute beasts. Um, outside, again, this is the Premier League thing. Outside of him, striker wise, it's really, really limited options. Um, you've either got the gold cards or you've got really expensive promo cards. It's hard to find something in the middle. Uh, there may be some SBC players uh, in the past that you might have that you can slot in. Obviously, it's hard. I don't want to put too many SBC players. This build is featuring around two. But we don't want to put too many in. He's pairing with Origi, though, who's a four-star, four-star, high medium. He's 6'2", so he's big, but he's got 89 agility and 87 balance, which is real nice. His pace is almost maxed out, which is fantastic. Again, 89 short pass and 84 vision. He's got the he got it where it matters. The rest of his dribbling is fantastic. The shooting is cracked, and the physicals are good. This guy, I've seen people suggesting just putting a basic on him and having having a good time with it. So, 
I, I think he's great as a flair. Neither of them have like any key traits, which has been really let down. But again, for the Premier League options for this budget, that's what you're working with. I think it's quite good. Now, I'm going to go with the centre mids next. And it's two very obvious options that aren't going to need explained too much, I don't think. I'm going with Kante as the first one. We're going to spend 85k on Kante. Um, he might still be in packs as a promo card, so expect this price to possibly drop. Uh, he's got his man of the match card, but we're using his gold version. So 85k for gold Kante. I've got his loan here. Um, there is another option you could use. I forgot his name. It's the Brentford CDM. If I can just pull up real quick. Um, is it, it's not Etebo. Uh, Etebo is the SBC, who if you have, you could do. Onyenka. Onyenka is 25k and is very similar to Kante. Um, if you want to try to do something different, you could use the Onyenka card and then spend a bit more and get like Sumedo or something like that in a right back but I think most people are going to want Kante he's French you can do hybrid links in the fu in the in the future he's got the unique body type he's just a bit broken in game um you just put a shadow on this guy you let him rock 97 stamina crack defending you're just using him as your beast DM really and there's not much more to say other than it's it's Kante um I don't use him too much I think there are other options in other leagues that are better um, but that's where I am at. If you have someone like the Winter Wildcard Table SBC that you can play it, see, the Premier League had a lot of SBC players, which is where it can make things like this tough. And then anyone else is good is just too expensive. That Table SBC was 80k when it was released, it was fantastic. Um, some of you might have the Kieta or the Kovovich SBCs, that kind of thing. So, but I think, um, I do think uh, Kante is the best option here. Uh, and then the person we're going to pair beside him was a tough one i'll be honest because I, I i wasn't too keen on using him but he's the best option that the league has and it's kevin de Bruyne. i know it sounds absurd that i'm saying a 91 route at kdb isn't what i wanted to use he does have his flashback there if you want to go complete that sbc um but if you have the coins to spend and you want you want to spend it you can get uh, kdb for 67k on the market this is his normal version maybe you've been lucky and packed another version from a wild card pack or something but he's high high four star five star yep i almost forgot how to read his pace lets him down a bit but you know his shooting for outside of the box is great his pass is fantastic um with the, the five star weak foot as well you can play the ball anywhere 89 stamina i put a shadow in this card you run him as beside kante this is where i think maybe i'm setting this up as a 442 but possibly a 4231 might work better uh can't they stay back like kdb just run the pitch with the high high and then you let the attacking players do the rest but that's the rest that's the team sort of set up and then the last two slots are going to be for the wingers over in the left wing we're going to be spending um 40k and we're going to be picking up Sadio Mane. Um, I think he's still the best value for money in the in that position in the league. Uh, this car still gets the job done. He's got the 91 acceler uh, sorry, 91 PS. His dribbling is good. Uh, the composure may be a little bit question mark at this point, but fine. Um, I'd say his passing is a letdown, but you can't play this card as a striker as well. Um, I think I was playing a hawk on him to get the physical boost, the PS boost, and the shooting boost. It worked quite well. Maybe you want to try something else, but you know, for 40k, this card is kind of hard to beat. Um, it's just a fantastic option. Over on the right side, we're going to spend 63,000 coins, and it's going to be on Trincao, um, if I can get him up here real quick. It's the Future Stars card, so we've got two Future Stars on our team. Sorry, three Future Stars, because we've got Pedro as well. He has a really nice boost. Again, in the right wing options, I was kind of limited for the budget. It was him or Bowen, actually, was who I was looking at. But Trincao's high high. He's left footed. Um, so I think uh, Manny's right footed too. So what you can do is swap these guys in game if you want to have your right footed guy being able to cross hit it and that kind of thing. Gives you some options there. But high high, four star, three star. So he's got the skill moves. The reason I want for him is he has outside of the foot shot. So four star, I think at minimum, you kind of want four star, four star. Uh, but you can get away with the four star skills and the three star weak foot sometimes if they have outside of the foot shot and then he also got flair so i think that works well his agility is fantastic with the reactions and composure he's got good stamina you can head too his pass is decent across the board it's good for a winger uh the pace is nice uh, i don't know really what you want to do here you can maybe put an engine on him if you're using him strictly as a midfielder and you're not too worried about the shooting um so i go back on to him you can use a hawk to get like a nice balanced shooting boost get the ps up and a bit of a uh, physical i think i'd probably go for the hawk it's been one of my favorite chem styles this year but that completes the team so if you had origi already andy Haya, which are the two core fundamentals of this team and then spent 500k uh elsewhere this is the premier league squad you could build I personally think it's a really good team. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it, what changes you'd make. I know looking at it that 
I could take this 500k budget and probably build a better team elsewhere or if I was going to take the, say the 200k or say 170k that De Gea and Origi was and pick two SPC players from another league and then use a 500k budget you could build I'd say something probably be better um, but I think here you've got a good defense like you've got rock solid center backs with one of the best keepers in the game your fullbacks are fullbacks like you need good fullbacks they can do the job you've got two fast speedy wingers two great strikers and then your midfielders are just like your little workhorses with good stamina that, that's mainly what you need so thank you guys very much for watching with about the 15 hint minimarks so we've not gone too far over in this in this squad builder let me know any budgets and themes down below and i don't know when the next video is going to be i'm away for a couple days and i'm not going to bring my whole setup with me so it might be only two uploads this week and then it'll be some custom tactics on monday but we'll see how it goes thank you very much for watching guys i'll see you in the next video Have a fantastic day fantastic evening whatever it is and goodbye